Mitosis is eukaryotic cell division. Now, you got to be careful because some people will get really kind of nitpicky about it because technically it's about making two nuclei, not necessarily two cells, because there's some kinds of organisms like fungi that sometimes don't bother doing the final step where you do cytokinesis and divide off the two cells. So you wind up with two nuclei in one cell. So just to remind you, mitosis is cell division for making two identical nuclei. You might have heard that I. It's to help you remember what mitosis means. I'll use that to help differentiate between mitosis, which is for nu identical nuclei, and meiosis, more properly meiosis, meiosis, which is for reproductive purposes, for sexual reproduction, that is. So, what happens is that during mitosis, this is at the end of the cell cycle during what's called M phase. The rest of the time, the cell is in what's called interphase, which is its normal life. You go through the G1 phase, where it's uh, expanding, growing to its uh, adult size, maturing, etc. S phase is when it's getting ready for mitosis, and that's when it copies the DNA through DNA replication. It then goes through G2, where it then copies off the instructions on how to build the tubulin that makes the spindle fibers that are going to be in, so much in use during mitosis. Then you'll go through the four major steps of mitosis. Prophase, metaphase, anaphase, and telophase. There is that final other stage called cytokinesis, but again, that's technically considered outside of mitosis. So I've got a little thing that'll help you remember what's going on during cell division. So put your hands together like this. This represents the nucleus of a cell that's in prof sorry, in interface. So it's already it's still intact. The DNA is spread out. So then you tighten your hands together, and that represents the condensing of the DNA that occurs during prophase. Then you put your hands like this, so that this part and this part are touching. That's called metaphase. This is how the cell's chromosomes are aligned down the middle of the cell. Then in anaphase, those chromosomes get pulled apart, like your hands are. Then during telophase, you wind up with two new dense nuclei. So I'll go through it again. Interphase prophase, metaphase, anaphase, telophase, and cytokinesis, cha-cha-cha. All right, let's take a look at a video that shows this a little bit more in depth. Here's a great one from YouTube. If we zoom in, now here we see the cell's nucleus undergoing prophase. We see the DNA spread out in chromatin form. Now it's condensing into the visible chromosomes. This yellow ball here is the nuclear envelope. Now, once the chromosomes have condensed, we can now break down the nuclear membrane as the two centrioles, if we're talking about plants, or just uh, centrosomes if we're talking, sorry, centrioles in animal cells, centrosomes in plant cells. And we'll see the spindle fibers start to go towards the chromosomes to hook onto them, as well as to push each other apart. Here's a spindle fiber attaching to that part of the chromosome and to this part of the chromosome. Let's pause it right here, because this is an important uh, thing. This chromosome here is actually made out of two separate DNA molecules. Now they are held together, this place right here called the centromere, which means literally the center part. These two little nubbins on either side, they've always looked like really big outie belly buttons. These outie belly buttons are called the kinetochores, and they're what the uh, spindle fiber here and here attach to. You can think of them as belly buttons with belly button rings. We've got a rope tied to this belly button ring of this identical twin who's identical to that one. So we've got a couple of Siamese twins with pierced belly buttons, and we're going to hook up ropes and then pull them apart. All right? So that's what's going on with this chromosome. Every other chromosome in the nucleus, well, the nuclear membrane's gone now, but every other chromosome in the cell is having the same thing happen. Now, just as a double check, you know that this entire thing is a chromosome. What are the two identical parts called? That's correct. They're called chromatids right now while they're still attached. Once they're separated, however, we no longer call them chromatids. They're now just considered separate chromosomes. All right, let's get this started up again. And we'll see that as this chromosome is pulled, by this side, it's also pulled on that side, and that means all of the chromosomes align in the middle. Let's stop it there. When they're all in the middle, you'll see a single row with all the chromosomes like this. Remember, that was our metaphase. Then they're being pulled apart. Once we're in the pulling apart phase, that's anaphase, A part. Prophase was preparing, metaphase in the middle, anaphase, they're moving apart. 
All right, let's get it going again. And we see during anaphase, the chromosomes move to opposite sides or poles of the expanding cell. Now, once they reach an appropriate part, we're going to reassemble the nuclei and loosen the chromosomes back into that loosely organized DNA form called chromatin. And now we're entering into telophase. Now that the two nuclei are reformed, the DNA uh, loosens up or relaxes back into chromatin, and then the cell, if it chooses to, can do cytokinesis and separate, and we wind up with two identical cells to the original parental cell. That's mitosis.